to the summer video of Experimental RC. In this video, I build and fly an airplane in Rwanda, Africa. So, for those of you who don't know, Rwanda is a small country located in Central Africa. It's located right here, pretty close to the equator, and it borders with Uganda, uh, Tanzania, the Congo, Burundi, and a lot of those countries that are also in Central Africa. So right there, that kind of gives you an idea of where Rwanda is. But this isn't a geography lesson. This is about uh, flying planes. Before we get to the flying, though, just a bit of background about my trip in Rwanda. I was staying at a Franciscan friary where they run a technical school for the people in Kivumu. Kivumu is a small village, you can see it here, but this is just the main part of it. There's thousands of people that live in the surrounding countryside. Kivumu is actually a, a village area of 60,000 people, and that's the school, the technical school, which is the second school in that area. The other school is a primary school, and you can kind of barely see it in the distance behind the trees but it's difficult to see. When I was helping out at the school, I was teaching the teachers there how to use the computers. This is a very new thing for them. And also, to kind of open the eyes of the students, I built and flew an airplane there. So the first step to building and flying an airplane anywhere is the materials. I decided to build this plane here, my box wing type plane because I heard it was very windy and this plane handles very nicely in the wind. Uh, free plans for this plane are on my website uh, www.rcexperimental. Uh, this foam here is just pink foam. It's available from most home improvement stores. It's the same stuff they use to insulate houses. Also the electronics I've got mostly from r2hobbies.com they're a really dedicated hobby store located in Hong Kong, and uh, they have the most amazing little brushless motors, as you can see here. The Turborex brushless motors, they're uh, really good quality, super light, and give really good thrust, and they're only about $11. And there is, an, is a link for our two hobbies on my homepage. And uh, it is an affiliate link, and it would really help me out if you made your purchases through there. Which brings me to the next step, building the actual plane. On most days, the building process was fairly normal because there was a generator running. But sometimes when the generator wasn't running, I did repairs by melting hot glue with the magnifying glass and smearing the melted glue onto the plane. And now this would be a good time to mention, I plan to be doing two videos a week starting up in September. On Tuesdays I'll do a video about flying airplanes, and on Fridays I'll do a video that's not necessarily RC related. I do have a lot of cool plans though that involve very fast electric bikes, robotic hands, wireless power, and also for the RC experimental. I plan to experiment with my box wing design and put ailerons on it and try some other cool stuff, so subscribe if you want to be reminded when I put a new video on. And now I know what you're all thinking. When's this damn kid gonna shut up and fly his plane? Well, here you go. Oh, 
Well, it seems that this video is getting a bit too long and YouTube might not like that. So, uh, part two will start from right where we left off. Thanks for watching part one.